Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am Nigar Nazar, cartoonist, creator of the character of Gogi cartoons. That's Gogi right there. Ah, this way. <laughs> that's Gogi right there. And that's her on the bookend as well, right over here. Just to give you a closer look. So that's Gogi for you. And every uh, every social media handle has Gogi Studios on it, which means the Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube channel, and of course the website. So I'll put her right back where she belongs, and I will introduce myself because it's a whole bunch of things that I have done over these four decades. So I thought it's better to put it in a capsule. And the capsule is a little documentary which covers the panoramic activity of my work. So you will watch a little documentary introducing my work called the TCM's documentary. My cartoons are a small girl who is پڑھی لکھی تعلیم یافتہ جذبہ رکھنے والی کہ اپنے ملک کے لیے کچھ کرنا ہے اس کا نام ہے گوگی اگر آپ ایک کام دکھا رہے ہیں ون ٹو تھری پنچ تو ادھر سے کہہ کہاں بلند ہوتا ہے تو ایک کارٹونس کے لیے تو میوزک ٹو مائی ایئرز والی بات ہے نا آپ اگر کسی کو انٹرٹین کریں ہنسائیں کارٹون کے ذریعے تو پھر اس کے بعد آپ ایک میسج سلپ ان کر دیں تو اس کا بہت اثر ہوتا ہے ہمیشہ یہ خواہش ہوتی تھی کہ ہماری اپنی بھی کوئی کامک سٹرپس ہوں کوئی اپنی بھی کامک بکس ہوں کیوں نہ میں خود ہی بناؤں انسپریشن یہی تھا کہ گوگی کے ذریعے میں خواتین یا بچیوں کا ایک پوائنٹ آف ویو پروجیکٹ کروں جی ایک زمانے میں بہت طالبان کا زور تھا اس پہ بھی بنایا سب کہتے تھے وہ تمہارا قیمہ بنا دیں گے نائسر چلیں دیکھی جائے گی کیا ہوتا ہے لیکن یہ زندہ کہانیاں تھیں یہ ساری ہمارے اطراف ہو رہی تھی ہم کوشش کرتے رہتے ہیں کریئیٹیو لوگ کہ تھوڑا سا فرق ڈال دیں تھوڑا سا ڈین ڈال دیں اپنے کام سے اور مجھے تو بہت خوشی ہے کہ میرے کام سے بیہیویئر چینج آیا ہے جس کی مجھے ٹیسٹیمونیلز مل رہی تو وہ جب طائرہ نے پڑھی تو اندر سے طائرہ کے اندر کوئی ایسا جذبہ جو ہے نا ابھرا کہ اس نے اپنے ماں باپ کو دائیں مائیں بٹھایا اور کہا یہ سنے کہانی تو پھر طائرہ کے والد نے کہا کہ ٹھیک ہے کل سے تم بھی اسکول جاؤ گے آپ سوچیں طائرہ کی زندگی میں جو تبدیلی آئی ایک کتاب پڑھنے سے کتابوں سے امپیکٹ پڑ سکتا ہے کارٹون سے امپیکٹ پڑ سکتا ہے سو یس مائی ڈیئر آڈینس سو یس آئی ہیو ٹو پٹ دس in this capsule otherwise we would have spent the whole morning just my explaining what i have done over the years um it's been a lot so how did i start how did i get into this well i was an avid comic reader and uh, in my childhood my father was posted to dc washington dc and i was just hooked on to comics there and when i got hooked on to comics and returned eventually after the posting I was still craving for comics. There weren't any, so I kept reading the Archies and, you know, the comic books of my time and uh, carried on with my studies. And then I realized we're not having any Desi comic books. I was studying pre-medical at that time. 
I left my pre-medical and I joined the fine arts department so that I could be into drawing, which I was good at anyway, because it's in our family somehow. So I was drawing in the margins of my science books. My biology and my botany journals were fun to do because it, they had drawing and I would volunteer it to my classmates. Anybody wants a drawing, I'm happy to do it for you. And I would do it in the end. I was caught because all the 28 journals looked the same in the diagrams. It was a cloning of the diagrams because I would just draw it and enjoy it. And so anyway, I took that U-turn and I joined the fine arts department. And after I graduated, I wanted to learn how to do comic art. Uh, wasn't available, still is not available in Pakistan. So I just had to teach myself. And um, my principal, Ali Imam Sahab, said to me, just draw a comic book, a comic strip every day and show it to me. It was as easy as that. And of course, it's not as easy as that. It's drawing funny pictures is a serious business. So, um, so what happened? Then I landed a job in the newspaper office, which was newly opened, the Sun Daily in those days in Karachi. And I was told by the editor that I would have to draw. He saw my work, he saw some of my Gogi cartoons and he liked them and he said, okay, you're on board and um, we want to see Gogi in the newspaper. I said, I'd love to do that. He said, every day. And I said, seriously, every day, a funny cartoon, seriously. Um, but he says, Either Gogi comes every day or she doesn't. Now that was a challenge. And I took it upon myself to do it. Managed to do it for over two years. And then I went on to the newspapers, other newspapers, magazines, the Herald, Teenager, other journals, and then the television. And that was fun too, because I was telling a story uh, live. I was drawing the cartoon story and narrating over it it was very exciting it was a lot of fun so what i will do is i'll try to take you through all the uh, <clears throat> through all the ups and downs of my journey um and what i went through and how i i i kind of juxtaposed that passion of drawing comics and cartoons in my daily life so I will show you first my, the cartoons of my fun and frolic days, as I call them, when I was just having fun drawing the cartoons. And, um, and I will then go on to serious business. Like I went, I took my cartoons to make serious comments, to make serious statements. And then I took my cartoons further to a mission. And I just went, with maturity, I thought my cartoons should be meaningful, serious, to make a difference, especially in our society, to make a difference in the mindsets. So I will show you my first cartoon, which is the attitude people have on the birth of a female child. I mean, we may be enlightened. We are enlightened, educated people. We don't think or see things in that perspective which a lot of people in Pakistan, a big, a huge percentage sees that in, in that realm. So I will show you first my cartoon on the birth of a female child. It's a panel by panel comic strip with uh, Gogi giving a comment on the birth of a female child. Okay, so here she is with, um, uh, with her friend and they're buying challi. Challi is very popular in the Punjab. Um, I think it's in Karachi too, but you know, it's corn on the cob and also cheap and also healthy. So they both, uh, the friends are standing there and they are both talking about, um, uh, the, her friend says that, you know, when my grandfather was born, they passed around sweets. And in the next panel, she says, when my father was born, they passed around cakes. So Maria asks her, and Azra, when you were born, they passed out so much for the birth of a female child. 
And the next is, now these are the fun and frolic days with comic strips. Uh, this is about a domestic situation where the housewife is doing multitasking as usual. You can see the iron burning her husband's shirt and you can see the kids tearing the bill and pulling the cat's tail and you can see the child dropping his milk bottle and the and the saucepan boiling over and the tea boiling over and then her little girl comes along with the cordless and says it's daddy saying he wants to speak to the queen of the house okay so live a little laugh a little the comic strip in the newspapers to i went on to the buses uh the public buses and these public buses uh had messages i mean i saw these blank varan buses with nothing on them and it was like an artist wanting you know wanting to do something on those blank canvases so uh i approached a friend and she said great let me introduce you to someone and at that time the asia foundation uh, head andy andrews said oh yeah i follow your cartoons in the newspaper and yeah we can have gogi on the buses and that was exciting for me so i did one bus after another and i got more and more sponsors uh, there were more and more donors who wanted to uh, see the the buses with the messages or the uh, you know the issues that they would be interested in and so we did this one on environment and this one was also on environment it was gogi says i planted a tree did you so yeah then we did this bus at the end um, and all together we did like um, 13 buses that were flying from uh, islamabad to uh, rawalpindi and so on and uh, they were on various issues they were on different issues they were on issues such as uh, good governance child rights education um and they were on um, um a child a child rights and also uh, there were buses on um, uh corruption so you see the thing is that this was a i i changed my forum so i hopped on to the buses <laughs> after the newspaper and then from there i reinvented myself and got into hospitals because anything that inspires me i mean there are patients sitting in those waiting rooms for hours and uh, doom and gloom what's going to happen to me and what's what i'm going to be diagnosed for so i said why don't i make this um a friendly environment why don't i put messages uh, on um, on murals so i proposed to the doctor i i would just find the right person hopefully and say look i want to do this in this hospital people are just sitting for hours why not educate them about the disease they have why not um why not put up a, a cartoon a colorful cartoon to change their mood and to guide them as to the do's and don'ts of that particular disease or generally you know health and hygiene and um, they like the idea and so i ended up putting 23 murals in the biggest children's hospital in islamabad called the pims and that was uh, made by the japanese it's a beautiful hospital but i was asked in that um, particular uh, section department of the hospital the children's section to put up just happy pictures in the emergency department because that's where all the trauma happens that's where all the children are brought in uh, an emergency and um, they need to be de-stressed they need to be relaxed and so i just made happy pictures for the children's hospital huge size and uh, it was really nice when i came to know from my own maid she said you know i took my uh, child to the hospital and madam i recognized oki and i said this is done by my madam and i said good for you did your child feel any better and yeah children like to be in a child friendly environment and that kind of contributed so i kept on moving from one thing to the other to the other and in the end i am doing books now uh, because i feel that books have an impact but let me share with you my very first book the gogi book which was printed actually when we were posted to libya because my husband being a diplomat we were posted from country to country and it's glad to meet chegogi 
So this was my very first yellowish, uh, you know, the pages are also now all turned yellow, but this was my very first book. Now, my very first comic book. My very first comic book was done for UNICEF. And this is it, Nanne Doctor. It tells all about health and hygiene. And you can see that the attractive pictures make it so easy to read. And um, and it, it worked. It worked. I mean, UNICEF told me later on that they lost count of the number of editions published. And I said, great, my, my comic books are working. And um, so, yeah, but during my journey, I mean, we women, because it's Women's Day and I'm wearing red and I'm making a statement, it's a happy color and happy, positive, optimistic. That's what I believe in. And that's how I do it with my cartooning medium. So we women go through so many gears. First year, second gear, back to first gear, neutral. <laughs> because motherhood, looking after the house, looking after the family, upbringing kids, kitchen, which is a whole detailed department of activity. So it was not easy. I wouldn't say it was easy, but I can tell you one incident that was kind of funny because see, I was working with the newspaper. I was the woman editor of the family page. This was the Muslim in the Muslim days. And I, um, I had to take my child to the hospital. He had to have a blood test. And I was told that you have to wait for the blood test or otherwise you can go and come back again, which was going to be a drag. So I said, no, I have my work in my car. So I just pulled out my cartoon for the week and I put it on the boot of the car and I just started drawing because that was the only flat space. So I knew I had envisaged that I might have to do that. I might have to wait for the for the report and instead of going back and forth, I might as well finish my work, which had to go on the on the page, on the layout of the page. So I just took it out and I was so engrossed in finishing my cartoon, I didn't realize I had an audience in the back. So people were watching me draw my cartoon. And then I guess some of them connected, oh, this is the weekly cartoon. It used to appear as Gogi Giggles in the Muslim newspaper. So I didn't realize I had an audience, but there I was working away. So that's how I would fit in my work with my domestic work, with my kids, with so many things. That's why my latest cartoon on the uh, Women's Day was the balancing act, where I've shown Gogi with a with a bamboo, and on that I have shown the various things that we women have to manage. And the hardest thing in that is that um, to 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 maintain or to retain that passion to work, to do what is your calling and that was my calling and i tried as hard as i could to stick to it otherwise you know so many of us when we go through these phases of life kind of move away from our passions i tried very hard not to do that and so um, so yeah so then what happened then i started producing books comic books and i've got so many my goodness 29. The 29th one was the latest one that was published on, um, it was uh, for road safety for children. So see, my target audience is children because I can make a difference in their mindset. Adults are very hard to address. Addressing is not a problem, but to make them change their mindset is not easy. Hence, I keep my audience, the children, which are actually the future of this country. And so I did, uh, I, I, my, my books and my comic books are mostly focused on children. And there are many books of mine that can be enjoyed by adults and children alike, like The Garbage Monster. It's about the garbage that we are not able to manage. Uh, and so it turns into a monster. I'll show you that as well. Let me show you out of all my books for the, for the time being. Here's one on corruption. So Gogi says no to corruption. 
So all of them are corrupt and it's oozing out of the ears and eyes and mouth. See no, uh, see no evil, speak no evil, say no evil. So this is this was launched, by the way, by the president at that time, uh, Mr. Mamnoon, um, at the presidency. So it got noticed, you know, it got noticed and it. Uh, I, I saw a big billboard of my book in the post office. That was exciting. Um, this book, uh, the next one which I'm showing you, is a very meaningful book because this book has a true story to it. These are my social um, uh, social issues comic books, which teach the skill of life. And this is on girls' education. And this book has an amazing true story behind it. If we have the time, I should narrate it. I don't know how I'm doing with time, but I'll keep an eye on it. Um, this is my pride and joy, the garbage monster. And um, the biggest acknowledgement came when uh, this book was um, this book was picked up by a professor at the Kaide Azam University to do a thesis on. And uh, I said, really? And she said, I showed my kid a number of books, but this was his favorite. And he wants to listen to the story every night before going to bed. And I said, oh, that's a big compliment coming from a child who enjoyed this book so much. And uh, so it was uh, translated in English. It was translated in Pashto as well. And then when the story finishes, there's a board game. Because I believe children like to play. And the more they play, the more they learn. So this is a board game which carries 33 messages, the do's and don'ts of environment. So the do's come with a smiling flower and the messages are right behind all these messages, 33 of them. And the don'ts come with a sad flower and the messages are right here behind them. So you cut them up and you play them like Monopoly. So these, uh, this book really encouraged me to, um, it encouraged me to do more books. So I've done a whole set of awareness comic books, as I call them, um, Gogi awareness comic books. And in the end, I'll tell you how these books have now become my passion for a mission. Another book that, my books just come out of inspiration. When I see something is missing, and I decide, okay, nobody's doing it, I'll do it. So nobody was making comic strips. We were, we were looking at Gambles, we were looking at Garfield and Peanuts, the works. How about something, you know, related to Pakistani people, our custom, our setting, our costume, our wonderful, rich culture. So I said, okay, I'll do it. And so I did. And this book, is also an inspiration from that. I mean, my grandchild was born and I tried to find a record book for him from the shops. My first Christmas, my first Valentine, my first Halloween. What about our first Eid? Akika, good tea, Azan. So I said, okay, I'll make it. And so this is Gogi's baby book. And you can put your child's picture right here, you know there and so you will have your customized book and it's a present you can keep for a lifetime i've still got my kids uh baby books they will never throw them away too precious to throw away very cherished and so i made this so that um people could uh, people could actually keep this as a lifelong present so here's a picture with kutti, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the kutti pilate, and it's for the modern couples who are not familiar with our customs anymore. And this is akika. You see, it's and it has a touch, a funny touch. I, the humor has to be there. Optimism and humor. That's what I believe in. And you see, my bakrai. My first Bakraid, my Bismillah. And then I have the Totkas for the Nani, Nani's Totkas, useful things that were passed on from generation to generation. 
And so she's telling Gogi that these are the things we did in our time. So try them out. So this book, and this book is very Desi. It's a Desi Gogi's baby book. And um, Diaspora is very interested in it. And I get orders for this. Uh, uh, I get orders for this book. And the easiest way to place an order for this is this. Work.gogistudios at gmail.com. So you place your order on this email address, give your address, and you receive it in three weeks' time. I've been sending them overseas a lot too. Because really, I think we should cherish our customs. We should cherish our heritage and our way of living, our values. And the new generation, the new mothers and dads should, I think, keep this as a record of what we have to be doing for our child, boy or girl. Now, my passion, books these days, meaningful books. And I'll tell you why I've done these meaningful books. There are compilations of Gogi cartoons, uh, three of them now. And um, I could easily make three more because I've accumulated so many cartoon strips. Okay, so my, and yes, I should share with you <laughs> the Corona cartoons. See, I've done cartoon and Corona. Everybody was in going into doom and gloom. And I said, let's see the funny side of Corona. It's not easy, I know, but it's a challenge for people like us, you know, the cartoonists, professionals. We like to see the positive side, the funny side, the silver lining, whatever you may call it. So um, they didn't know to actually, I asked my poet friend, I said, why don't you write something on Corona? And she said, okay. So, you know, you need a push from a creative person to be doing something uh on a certain subject we all get we all get embedded in our own cocoons and then there has to be someone to give a nudge so i give her a nudge and she she produced it fast and then i said okay if you can produce so many katas you know just four two shares then let me also work hard and so i uh, do the cartoons in one day and let's illustrate them here is one and uh it's in urdu so it says Ikrar nahi karta, karna to inkar, karona. Har vakt karona ki bhi takrar, karona. <laughs> Makeup ko bhi bekar karona ne kiya hai. Makeup ko bhi bekar karona ne kiya hai. Ab maas nahi utrega, israr karona. <laughs> That's one. But I'll show you the funny one. Yeah, do, dur ke dol swane, keeping the social distancing. Right? I'll read it out if you like. Dur ke dol ab suhane hai. Mujko tuta khilona lagti ho. Faas le se raha karo begam. Tum mujhe krona krona lagti ho. <laughs> so that's another. This is my favorite. <laughs> okay. This one is about Bivi cell phone dek ke chikhi. Bivi cell phone dek ke chikhi. Jaan, ye bolo kisko likha hai. और तुमने मेरे नंबर पर नाम मेरा कोरोना रखा है <laughs> so these are the lighter side of corona cartoons now if i go into my portfolio this too much for you to absorb too much for you to learn but i think i'll take a jump and come on to my most recent work in the meantime what can we show have we got a video uh, to show I will show it and I'll connect it with my mission and I'll talk about my mission. And how are we Let's doing with time? With the, uh, the one, uh, okay, the, there's this there's this one, uh, two cartoons, two ha ha cartoons, one about immigration first and then about women's responsibilities. So we can show the immigration one first and it's about Gogi traveling and going to another country and she's standing at the immigration and the Gora guy is asking her, okay, so where are you from? And she says, I am from Pakistan. Can we show it? Yeah. So where are you from? And she says, Pakistan. And then he says, which part? And she says, all of me. <laughs> so that's immigration. And we've shown this. 
uh, we can show this one, which I talked about already. Uh, this is the balancing act we women have to go through. So we've got so much on our hands. As you can see, it's the groceries, the kids, their upbringing, the pots and pans for cooking, and the briefcase, and the cleaning, and the computer, and the rolling pin which in cartoons, they always show the wife running after the husband with the rolling pin when she's mad. <laughs> but that's the cartoon side of it. And uh, then we have, uh, we went into doing uh, uh, songs. We went into doing songs and uh, we did a song which was, so let me bring you to a recent, a recent, um, activity that we did. Like I said, my work started with the haha -ha cartoons, the fun and frolic days. And, yeah, then I switched over. Yet. and then I switched over to meaningful work, social messages on the buses, social messages, health and hygiene messages on in the hospitals, books. And now I am directly interacting with children. And I want to make a difference in the mindsets of children who will remember that a cartoonist came to us one day with Gogi the mascot. And she entertained us and she educated us and she put a seed of social awareness in our minds. So this is a song that I wrote. Uh, we were invited to the children's hospital, the children's um, ward, the cancer, childhood cancer ward. Uh, at a very short notice, because it was the International Childhood Cancer Day. And so we we entertained them and we sang this song for the children. <laughs> तो तू सर खूबी पर भी नजर रखो ऐसी भी कोई बात नहीं है एक अच्छाई बे एक अच्छाई बे एक अच्छाई बे अच्छी है एक अच्छाई बे एक अच्छाई बे एक अच्छाई बे यहाँ रिक्शे भी हैं यहाँ रेड़ा भी दिल गाड़ी भी है यहाँ चकड़ा भी यहाँ चाकू भी हैं यहाँ डाकू भी Chai, be a 
अच्छाई भी अच्छाई भी अच्छी है आना के बुराइयाँ है और एक अच्छाई भी अच्छी है एक अच्छाई भी एक अच्छाई भी एक अच्छाई भी अच्छी है All right. So this is a song that we sang at the children's hospital, uh, the children at um, the childhood cancer hospital in Rawalpindi. The doctor had invited me, and I said, "I'll never say no to children, and I'll, and especially cancer, my little children. No way. We have to go." तो हमने मैस्कॉट को भी तैयार किया गोगी को तैयार किया बुक्स निकाली टू गिव एस प्रेजेंट्स और ग्रीटिंग कार्ड्स निकाले गोगी के टू गिव एस प्रेजेंट्स वी टुक आर स्केच बुक्स टू सो द किड्स कुड बी ड्राइंग एंड वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फन विद देम एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई वाज वेरी दिस थिंग आई वाज वेरी नर्वस अबाउट यू नो एड्रेसिंग चिल्ड्रन विद कैंसर एंड आई सो आई टुक आउट अ लॉट ऑफ माय videos and ready made canned stuff like the cartoon stories and the so that i would not be face to face and choking or something like that and uh, gradually it was all right because i could you know the children were brought in koi limp karta wa raha hai koi sahare se aa raha hai and these are sick children and you want to give them hope and you want to tell them that it's all right you can fight it you are the superhero and you will win and this and that and all that we did that and we gave them and of course it's all on my facebook you should see their faces you should see their expressions it's a treat when you are amusing kids it's a treat when you are uh, entertaining challenged kids so my mission became that we have to bring about a difference in the mindsets of the children um but there was an ironic twist to this visit and that was that uh, as i was standing waiting for the children to be filing into the playroom i noticed that gogi the mascot went into a children's ward and i said what is she doing going in there and i didn't know but the psychologist was leading her into the children's ward uh and she said uh, to gogi that this girl ishil is uh is very sick and she cannot come into the playroom she had oxygen on her mouth and um so can you just come and cheer her up and my trained uh, mascot artist uh, did uh, you know she teased her and all that and then um, the stack of the gifts uh, the books the social awareness comic books the one that i showed you um she gave her that and and ishil said to her mother who was there and also the psychologist that you know you should give these books to my younger brothers and sisters all very fine they had a speaker over there and when we were singing this song then she was hearing that so she was in directly receiving our presentation i didn't know this but the next day i got a call from dr zana of that hospital and she said nigar i want to thank you for entertaining the kids so much and especially the bogi mascot artist did a great job and this that and let me tell you that that was ishil's last day on earth she passed away at night but she passed away a very happy girl because she was entertained and she was smiling and laughing which we saw after a long time and it it hit us and we said oh my god we never thought that that was going to be ishil's last day and gogi was entertaining her and the books that she was receiving were passed on to her younger brothers and sisters so that was a very ironic twist and so that day i said okay we are now going to work very hard to address children to bring that difference in their lives to entertain them to educate them and to do as much as we can because children are a very neglected sector in our society they're very important but they're neglected and the best medium is my cartoons the comic books a song a dance this that so yeah and now my mission my mission that i'm using my cartoons to uh my comic books to educate it's a huge 
task. I cannot do it alone. And I would ask you, if you know anyone, corporate or otherwise personal philanthropist, to sponsor these books that I showed you. They are a set of seven books. A set of seven books on corruption, extremism, and girls, women's rights, hukuk and niswa, uh, interfaith harmony. They are seven, including the Gogi book. And to sponsor them for the underprivileged. I mean, these kids don't even have a TV set or a mobile to be playing around. They've got nothing. So the book is the easiest thing to give to them. And let me tell you, we have already distributed 23,000 sets. 23,000 children have already received these books, but we have another 22,000 sets of books left. And for that, again, the same address, work.gogistudios uh, at gmail.com. Write to us and we will send you the books. And let me also tell you, when you buy a set of books, some child somewhere will receive uh, receive one a set of book from us. If you sponsor five, we'll send five out <clears throat> from our choice. You can also, after reading them, sharing them, give them to some deserving child. Um, for education, I did an animated cartoon, which I uh, will show you now. Uh, it's an animated cartoon on girls' education, especially. Um, and I'm showing you this little. Um, of a few minutes this cartoon and i'm told that it did have a big impact on girls farishta do bhaiyo ki ikloti behan thi farishta ko padhne ka bahut shauk tha anpad aur na samajh walden ne farishta ko school bhejne ke bajaye ghar ke sare kaam ka bojh us par dala hua tha raat ko jab sab so jate to farishta apne padhne ka shauk pura karti baste se bhaiyo ki kitabein nikal kar thoda thoda karke padhti सारा दिन काम करती और खाना भी उसको एक वक्त का मिलता वो दिन ब दिन कमजोर होती गई हत्या के एक दिन वो थकन और भूख से बेहोश हो गई सेठ को पता लगा तो अपने ड्राइवर के हाथ उसको अस्पताल भिजवा दिया डॉक्टर ने खून की कमी बताई और अफसोस किया कि बेटों को तो दो टाइम खाना मिलता है जबकि बेटी सिर्फ एक वक्त का खाना खाती है बाप बोला असल में बेटों ने स्कूल में पढ़ना होता है डॉक्टर के मशवरे से फरिश्ता को तीन दिन अस्पताल में रहना पड़ा चौथे दिन सेठ का ड्राइवर अस्पताल से लेने को आ गया ड्राइवर ने कहा कि अस्पताल से छुट्टी उस वक्त मिलेगी जब आप लोग यहाँ रहने का और दवाइयों का भारी बिल अदा करेंगे फरिश्ता के वाले बहुत परेशान हुए ड्राइवर बोला कि फरिश्ता को मेरे निकामे दे दें तो मैं बिल अदा कर दूंगा ये सुनकर फरिश्ता बोली ये बुढ़ा झूठ बोल रहा है ये पब्लिक अस्पताल है यहाँ इलाज मुफ्त होता है ड्राइवर शर्मिंदा हो गया और वाले खुश हो गए माँ ने फरिश्ता को गले लगाकर पूछा ये सब तुम्हें कैसे पता चला फरिश्ता ने बताया कि वो रातों में भाइयों की किताबें पढ़ा करती और कुछ उस्तानी की मदद से लिखना सीखती लिहाजा सरकारी नोटिस बोर्ड पढ़कर ये तफसीत मालूम हो गई फरिश्ता के वाले ने तालीम का इतना बड़ा फायदा देखा तो दूसरे दिन से फरिश्ता को स्कूल भेजने का फैसला कर लिया ओके सो दैट वाज अ स्मॉल ब्रीफ मैसेज इन अ नटशेल विद द स्टोरी एंड सो आई थिंक आई शुड बी एंडिंग दिस नाउ बट एजुकेशन मस्ट नॉट स्टॉप uh and the more we are mobilized together on this mission the more effective we will be um like i said uh, we need to get these books out to the kids uh talking of books one last book which is going to be on climate change it's the tree book and again easy to read fun to read a uh, book uh, very quickly uh, but uh, what i would say is uh when i end this and if you want to ask any questions then i am open to answering any questions you want to ask so with this my part is finished now your part begins thank you very much <laughs>